Many countries have tried, from building giant fleets to developing hypersonic missiles claimed to be able to penetrate American defences. But in reality, none have yet succeeded in sinking a single US aircraft carrier. The question is, why? The United States Nimitz-class aircraft carriers are more than just warships. They are floating cities in the middle of the ocean, symbols of American maritime supremacy. Displacing over 100,000 tons, measuring 333 meters long, and with a flight deck measuring 77 meters wide, these ships can accommodate dozens of fighter jets simultaneously. But what's most impressive isn't their size, but their powerhouses, two giant nuclear reactors that provide them with nearly limitless power. These ships can reach speeds of over 30 knots, and most remarkably, they can operate for 20 years without refueling. This is why the world calls it the inexhaustible sea monster. Not only that, the world's largest ship can carry more than 5,000 personnel, including crew and aircraft. On its massive deck, more than 75 fighter jets are ready to take to the skies whenever needed. From the FA-18EF Super Hornet, the backbone of its airstrikes, to the F-35C Lightning II, a fifth-generation stealth jet capable of penetrating enemy defences undetected by radar. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, main armament, air and close-in defence missile launches, two times RIM-162 ESSM, evolved Sea Sparrow missile, launches, two times RIM-116 RAM, rolling airframe missile missiles. Cannon, three times Phalanx close-in weapon system, CIWS, four times M2.5 zero caliber, 12.7 millimeter cannons, four times Mark 38 25 millimeters MGS for some versions. And there are supporting facilities for the aircraft. It has the capacity to carry more than 75 aircraft with various advanced weapons. This super sophisticated modern aircraft carrier is equipped with the AN-SPY-3 multifunction radar MFR and the AN-SPY-4 volume search radar VSR. An S-band active electronically scanned array. So, with these two advanced radars, the CVN-78 is ready to detect threats hundreds of kilometres away before the enemy approaches. This is the first reason why American aircraft carriers are nearly impossible to sink. They never sail alone. Each aircraft carrier is always protected by what is called a carrier strike group, CSG. This is a naval battle group consisting of one aircraft carrier, two Aegis cruisers, two to three destroyers with Tomahawk missiles, one nuclear submarine and support logistics ships. This means that to reach the aircraft carrier, the enemy must pass through multiple layers of defence. Many countries, especially China and Russia, claim to possess weapons capable of destroying aircraft carriers. America. For example, the Chinese DF-21D, dubbed the Aircraft Carrier Killer, or the Russian Zircon hypersonic missile, which is said to be able to penetrate Aegis defences. But in the real world, sinking an aircraft carrier isn't that easy. US aircraft carriers are constantly on the move, changing position every hour, and protected by electronic systems that can disrupt enemy radar and missile guidance. Furthermore, the US has satellites, AWACS aircraft and drones constantly scouting areas thousands of kilometres away. So, before a missile is fired, the carrier is no longer in its original position. And to actually sink it, the enemy would have to fire dozens of missiles simultaneously. Even if the worst case scenario were to occur, the carrier being hit by a missile, the chances of sinking it are still very slim. Why? Because the structure of an aircraft carrier is built with a dual compartment system and layered steel. Each section can be automatically sealed to prevent water from entering the entire ship. The firefighting system, seawater pumps and backup generators 
are designed to remain operational even if the deck is hit by an explosion. In World War II, US aircraft carriers like the USS Yorktown were hit by multiple torpedoes and still survived. Days. Now, that technology has become dozens of times more powerful. In military exercises, a simulated sinking test was conducted on an old aircraft carrier. The result? It took more than 20 missiles and torpedoes to actually sink it. Imagine, that's an old ship. What about a new Gerald R. Ford class carrier? That's why other countries don't dare risk attacking a US aircraft carrier directly. Because once they do, the retaliation comes like a hurricane. From the sea, the air, and even outer space.